So hi everyone, now let's talk about settings in the VS Code. In VS Code, we have default settings, user settings and workspace settings. And we can manage all of these settings through JSON as well as through UI interface. So let's understand with practical. So let's open your VS Code. So le let me open this particular project. So now we have opened our first project. So now let's see that how to check the settings in the VS Code. So for that, go ahead in this activity bar, go down and you will find out this manage icon. And in this manage icon, go ahead and you'll find out the settings over here. So you can see we have two options over here. One is the user settings and the one is the workspace settings. So let me get back to that page. So I, as I told you, we have three settings, but how to check all of my default settings. So for that, go ahead over, over here and open your command palette. So shortcut for opening a command palette is command shift P in Mac OS and control shift P in Windows. And over here type open default settings JSON, this op option. When this option comes, click it over here. And now you can see all of your default settings in the VS Code. So now let me get back to that. So now we know how to check all of your default settings. But now what do I want to know? I want to check all of my user settings, but I want to see only those settings which I have made changes on my default setting. For that, open again co command palette and type open settings JSON this option click it over here and so these are the three settings which we have made in the past on uh, in my vs code user settings or these changes might have happened automatically too how that happened automatically so let me show an example so let's say right now my vs code zoom level is three and if I'll change this zoom level or through any shortcut, if I apply this command plus or control plus shortcut, so let me do that. So let me say command plus shortcut. Do you see what happened? When I used that option, this side zoom level got changed, changed from three to four. So these settings might change through some shortcut as well as, well as through your command palettes too. So let's go and use again your command palette and say color theme yeah preferences color theme click it over here so now you will see all different options so let me do one thing let me open a uh, solarized dark color theme so do you see what has happened i have changed that color theme through my command palette but that change has reflected in my user settings over here that means this change has happened throughout all of my projects <clears throat> but now i want to change this color theme only and only for this particular project so when you have such kind of a case then workspace settings come in the picture because these workspace setting changes get applied only of your current workspace and what is a workspace that part we will learn later on in much more in detail in this tutorial but for now understand that your current project is your workspace so go ahead on your vs code so for this project i want to keep the monokoi settings but only for this project or and rest of the other, other project i want to keep the solarized dark setting so again i'll go to my this settings and will go in my workspace settings so let's go ahead and do one thing. Let's change some settings in, in the workspace and make sure you have come over here in the workspace. Let's change the font size to 40 and enter it over here. So do you see the moment I have made this change in my project explorer, a new .vs code folder has created automatically, which contains a settings.json file. And this is the different file from that of our users settings.json file, which is over here. So let me click it over here. So now I have two settings.json file. One is this one, and this contains this path, relative path. And if you'll see my this settings.json file, this contains this particular path. You can find out in the breadcrumb. So now 
my font size is 14 so now let's go sorry yeah let's change the color theme over here in the workspace let's go color theme and when you will go ahead over here you will find these are the color theme available and let's change this particular color theme for this particular project monokoi so do you see the moment i have made that change that effect has applied over here and if you'll see in my now in my this particular file in my this particular setting.json file which is in the dot vs code folder this change has affected over here and if you'll see in my user settings this one we have solarized dark so let me do one thing instead of this mono koi i want to make a light theme over here in my workspace folder so and you so you can change any settings over here also if that contains some option so you can go over here and let's change this theme so what are the light settings are available so let's say yeah so let me go to make visualize light yeah this, this thing is a bit better yeah so now i have changed for this particular project my workspace setting these ones visualized dark light whereas my user settings contains solarized dark so do you see my priority always will go to the workspace settings and these workspace settings will not be applicable to any other project it will be only applicable to your workspace workspace for now is your current project now if you'll see i have made changes over here in my user settings solarized dark so let me do one thing and note it down all of these settings let me open a other folder or another project so let's go to this new window and open this folder working folder so you note, note it down and let me open that particular file settings.json file so again let me go to my command palette and open my this json so now you can see the path of this file is the same in the bread bread come so that means this is the same file and you note it down this solarized dark setting has been applied over here and now as we do not have any workspace folder for this project so all of these settings will get their priority if any settings will change in the workspace settings any of the that specific setting so that workspace setting will get the priority second priority will go to the user settings and last priority will go to your default settings so that's how priority level will go in the vs code so let me go to my old project so now instead of solar uh, this one so this is my user settings so if i made any changes over the there let, let's make let's say quite light so, so nothing will change it will remain same because we have overload this color theme setting in my workspace so if i'll go my, to my workspace setting now if i'll make changes over here it will be changed so now you know how to change your different workspace settings your user settings and your default set settings very well and you know now as well as you know that your workspace settings will always get the first priority and these workspace settings remains in in your dot vs code folder in in that settings.json file so these are settings which get the highest priority second priority will go to your user settings and last priority will go whatever is your, is your default setting so if you go in these settings if you go let's say right now you are in the workspace so we have changed this particular setting over here so that change is reflecting over here and you can change over here also back to your reset setting so it will change to your default setting so if you make reset over here so it will has opened so what it did so do you know it didn't, did not change to my dark plus default settings because if you will open go ahead in this folder so do you see in my workspace settings that settings has gone because now we have set it workspace to my default settings so that means now my user setting will get the priority and my user settings was that so now let's change my user settings to monokoi so now i hope you have a get a clarity that if there is a setting in this workspace folder that will get a priority if there is no setting over here then priority will go to the user settings and then anything is in your default settings 
and in and in these settings what it, it is revealing over here any change settings on top of your default settings and then all of your other default settings and you can explore a look all the of your default settings so i hope that it gives you an idea and in the last next lecture we will understand few important settings in the vs code so thank you guys bye bye